Ho! True to your word, you have come. Let us begin at once. Um, I, I should like to observe your form first and foremost. Uh, uh, so, so stand here and take your aim at yon targets. You have my gratitude. I learned much from you just now. In fact, I have made a discovery. Unlike those of Elven make, bows crafted by other races are designed for keen aim. Is that not so? But I can see this is no revelation for you. I expect you thought this design common to all bows, yes? Not so for those of Elven make, however. Our bows are crafted to guide not the hand, but the heart. Mayhap you will find the sentiment strange, but such is the perspective of elven kind. We are taught that arrows loosed with proper form will strike true, as if it is all a matter of poise, I admit. I find it rather baffling myself. Perhaps that is why my bowmanship has failed to improve. Yet with this bow, I begin to understand. Let us see if I fare any better now. Huzzah! What a feat! I, I, I can hardly believe it. Every last arrow found its mark. Dead center. This marvel is, is nothing at all like an elven bow. The design allows for ease of aim and steadfast flight of each arrow. To think that I should, I should feel such a difference. Mayhap I am more suited to a bow of foreign make than one of my own peoples. It is a strange thought, but how else to explain it? My arrows have not soared so true in all my days. I had nearly given up on myself. Yet it would seem I am not without talent after all. My performance with this bow has divested me of such doubts. But the ingenuity of this design, if only my people would take heed. It is all very well to talk of honing one's form, but why should we not perfect the tool so integral to our customs? I am decided. I shall take this bow back to the arbor. With this as my weapon, I have no doubt I shall pass my trial of archery. It seems Sir Glindor's doubts no longer plague him. May his newfound confidence see him through his trial of archery. Right you are. He thinks I spy all to use. We ought to take a closer look. Then I shall remain by your side. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. Our master has given us an order. Surely you do not intend to disobey. I never would have expected to find a cave in a place like this. It is an exciting discovery, but we ought not to lose our heads.
The walls are too close for comfort here. Should we encounter trouble, we would be at a disadvantage. Let us proceed with caution. Eyes peeled, ears pricked. Another encounter? I ill like this. We're already hard pressed from our previous engagement. Wakestone shard is a mere rock, but combined they can work miracles. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in digging a few. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. Ah, yes. 
Regarding your pursuer from some days past, as we suspected, he was indeed an agent from Batal. When he learnt of your majesty's escape, he began inquiring after your movements. Tis a glad thing we captured him before matters escalated. As to how he learned your majesty's location with such ease, I intend to extract the answers from him anon. I shall be sure to inform you when I do. Pray, take this. Tis the least I can offer for your majesty's assistance. So the agent was of Batal after all. Tis rather eerie that someone should be sent across the border to spy on you. Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to us. Have you found any of the items we dis... Got... Perchance. Always a pleasure. Our foes will quail in the wake of your fearsome blows, Master. Strike well. Know that we shall aid you as needed.
Did I trust? <laughs> Got any tales to liven up my day? Got any tales to liven up my day? There's a ladder here. Ah, oh, excellent find. This looks Hearts just thinking about it. If our prayers are not heeded, what hope have we? Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Ah. Hold on a moment, Sir Arisen. Perchance you would be willing to aid me with another matter. You see, one of the children we care for here at the Gracious Hand has gone missing. Malcolm, his name is. He's a steady lad. I can't imagine he would have run away. This building's very old. It could be that he's found himself in some strange corner of it. Might I impose on you to search for him? What we need now is information. The question is, where to find it? I quite agree. Where could Malcolm have gotten off to? Perhaps you could try asking the other children. I haven't been able to get much out of them myself. Malcolm's been really into exploring of late. Just the other day, he was going around telling anyone who'd listen about how he was an ox hair away from making some big discovery. I wonder what it was Malcolm found. Treasure? I wonder what it was Malcolm... Our prayers are not heeded. What hope have we? I Well met. This here is the sanctuary of tipplers and merrymakers alike. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Aye, sir. What I can do for you? Is there a problem?
place of prayer. Do keep your voice low. Is... is Malcolm all right? We were supposed to go exploring together. But I overslept, and he went without me. Wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Oh no, I wasn't meant to tell anyone that. Please, sir, don't tell nobody what I said about exploring those vaults. Please, sir. <clears throat> Might I beg but a moment of your time? I spend my days in quiet reflection. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace, discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Let me get that. Is it true you'll be arisen? That's what I've heard anyhow. Only, I seem to recall someone else boasting of being the arisen over in the tavern about six months ago. Just be sure you play your part well, whatever the truth. The arisen takes the crown here in Vermin, after all. The fellow Drake or two, and I reckon you'll earn the people's faith. <laughs> Good luck to you. to speak of, you see. So the nice people at the Gracious Hand take care of me. I wanted to get them a present to say thank you, and I thought a bunch of flowers would be just the thing. Now the problem is, I can't seem to find any good ones. Do you think you could help me? All I need is a bunch of pretty flowers. For true. Thank you ever so much, Arisen. I'm sure you'll find the prettiest flowers there ever were. Hoy Arisen! Have you brought me a bunch of flowers already? Well, take your time. You know where to find me. Have you need of me? Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. We ought to put it to good use.
I don't believe I've had the pleasure, sir. Have we some business I'm unaware of? If you're looking for idle chatter, look elsewhere. Perhaps you would indulge me in conversation? Are generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time.
equipment's coming. If our prayers are not heeded, what hope have we? Aye, sir. What I can do for you? What? You mean to say my Albert's a noble and has only been pretending to be a beggar? That can't be true. Earning a living in the slums isn't easy, but Albert and I, we promised each other we'd try our hardest to make ends meet. We've been working toward that all this time. And your saint is all a lie. I don't want to believe such madness, but... Nor can I deny that these garments are my husband's. Pray, tell me where you found them. I must see this for myself. This place offers a view of the sea. I imagine we would not escape a plunge into the water's depths. of flowers already oh just look at them they're the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen <laughs> these should brighten the sisters days say would you mind terribly if I asked you another favor see one of my friends taught me a magic spell it's supposed to let you meet whomever you like all you have to do is find a silver stone, put it under your pillow, and say the magic words. But there's the problem. I've been looking all over for such a stone, and I can't find one anywhere. Would you find a silver stone and bring it to me, Arisen? For true. I knew I could count on you, Arisen. I'll be waiting. Our next mission is to acquire a silver stone. Mayhaps silver ore will serve. We can purchase it, or mine it up ourselves. Oh, I can't find a silver stone anywhere. Have you fared any better? They're hard to find, aren't they? Well... No 
Oh, I can't find a silver stone anywhere. Have you found... Oh, just look how it shines. Thank you ever so much. Say, aren't you curious who I want to meet? Well, I'll tell you. My mother and father. I don't even know what they look like, you know. Not to say I'm unhappy at the gracious hand, of course. But I'd really like to meet them. Even just once. I want to tell them how grateful I am that they gave me life. Oh, it's so shiny. Oh! Miss Daphne seemed pleased with our efforts. I hope we ought to pay her another visit sometime soon. I quite agree. I best down my key. We must rest. This looks as good a place as any. about the state of the river. Do you know the river close by the church? Well, it's come to be full of muck and filth and all sorts. That's a problem for the church, as it draws from the river to make holy water. The water's so filthy that it's going to take twice the amount of gold ore to purify it. I was thinking you could help the priests by finding some gold ore. After all, it wouldn't be good for anyone if the church ran out of holy water. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Thanks ever so much. I'll help too. I'll look for gold ore every place I can think of. Now we seek gold ore. Though tis sold in shops, mining some ourselves might prove the better choice. Right you are. I wonder what it was Malcolm found. Treasure? Malcolm? All he's doing of late is picking through rubble. Don't know why he bothered. Making our report. Maybe he was hoping to find something shiny among the rubble. Wonder if he found anything... What am I to do? It's just another way to save your own skin. Wish to always die here and do to preserve this life. In scarce a fortune, he was fed these days. Mm. Mm.
Don't think you're safe just because you're in the city. Monsters have gotten bolder of late and more ferocious. One found its way inside the common quarter just the other night. Much blood was spilled afore the thing was cold. You could say it was an ill twist of fortune, but mayhap we ought to be better prepared for such incidents. I wonder if building a nice high wall is out of the question. Have you found any gold ore yet? Wow! This'll be plenty, I reckon. Thank you ever so much. Listen, I was talking to the priests, and apparently our troubles aren't over yet. Would you be willing to lend us a hand again, Arisen? Just one more time? Thanks. So... Remember how I told you about the river by the church getting all mucky? Well, the grown-ups are saying it's gotten worse. Now lots of people who live nearby are falling sick. The priests have been treating everyone as best they can, but there's nowhere near enough medicine to go round. I want to help them, but I'm not sure what I can do. Apart from ask you, that is. Would you bring us some more medicine, Arisen? Oh, thanks, Arisen. What would we do without you? I'll talk to the priests in the meantime, see if there's anything useful I can do. Now with need of medicine, we can purchase it at shops, or make some ourselves by combining the ingredients. By your leave. Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mentioned rubble, aye? Then perhaps the lad found a way through. Come, I fear there's not a moment to lose. Pray, follow me, and quickly. I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Fine place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Profitable endeavor. We ought to keep watch. 
lest we be set upon from behind. Remain alert, and naught shall catch us by surprise. This is a poor remuneration for our efforts, I must say. Rarely have I felt so empty. Be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. Keep your eyes peeled. Malcolm, thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, sir, arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick? You'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. Truly, perhaps we ought to take a look. We ought to follow close behind, lest we get separated. I quite agree. to get through this door. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Over here! Come look! Heavens above! Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. Tis quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. Tis a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. 
We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? It near boggles the mind that so impressive an archive slumbered here. Tis surely in any scholar's dream. I quite agree. I must confess, Nought rattles me quite so much as the unexpected snuffing of... ...my lantern light. Ah, yes. That sounds familiar. I dare say, we could sell this for a fair amount of gold. Whether or not we make the sale is for the Arisen to decide.
Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Lessening our load will help to keep us light on our feet. A fine place to harvest. Hoy, oh, you're risen! Have you brought any medicine with you? Now that's just splendid! Oh, thank you, Arisen. This should be plenty. I'll take it to the church straight away. It is a goodly deed we've done, aiding the sick. I only hope our efforts go a ways toward improving life in the slums. I quite agree. Beg pardon, sir, but have you any information about what happened here? A couple were found dead, you see. Poor Albert was stabbed from behind, and Selina, by all appearances, ended her own life after killing him. I can't fathom it. I knew the both of them, and I cannot imagine Selina doing such a thing, let alone to her dear husband. One witness claims Selina was turned away from a noble's estate shortly before the incident. But how could that possibly have led to all so gruesome as this? How awful. Are we to blame for this fell conclusion? So, it was. So, it was not to be. It is no surprise. The magistrate is well renowned for his obstinacy. Well, have you found some place I might sate my scholarly curiosities? Oh, to think such a place existed. How oh, very curious. Guide me outside, then. If you can deliver me from this pit, I ought to be able to find the rest of the way on my own.
come along. It is good to be reunited. I. this should be far enough. My thanks. If you truly are arisen, then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe. Words may be wind, but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you have the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you. Anywhere's better than the middle of a crowd. Now to report to Captain Brandt. Ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's it seems Magistrate Wardor has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom. He might have knowledge that could benefit you on your travels. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? I thank you. Pray, take this. Consider it remuneration for your majesty's efforts. Here, we'll see one business to attend to. Your Majesty, that attire, it... It may be unsuitable. Tis a formal affair, you see. I apologize for my brusqueness. But pray, seek out proper raiment. I shall await you here in the meantime. Is there aught else you would speak of, Your Majesty? Do not forget that we work to...
There is much we ought to tend to. If we all shall change once we have attended the... If your majesty has any unfinished business... Very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty will do well to get a good night's rest. Sways your will. Could it be that the gods sway? We must quit this place, Your Majesty. I fear our plans may fall to naught. Let us return to the tavern. False sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the godsway mentioned in that letter. Perchance it is a tool that grants power king to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas. Unless we find some way to unmake this Godsway's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Allow me to speak to the agent we captured some days past. Perchance he knows aught of use. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this Godsway? I suppose it is pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brad's investigation. Right you are. We must rest, though the sun is still up. I have to report. much we ought to tend to if we are if the information we pry from the agent is to be believed there is a place in Batal devoted to the study of arts most queer I believe it is worthy of investigation should fortune smile upon us your majesty may even discover some method of undoing the godsway's hold over the pawns yet official dealings twixt Vermund and Batal are suspended and tis no simple matter to gain passage through the latter's fortress Fortunately for us, however, the agent was hiding this on his person. I bid you take it. Tis an entry permit, allowing passage through Batal's fortress. It even bears the crest of the Batali Palace. It must have been commissioned by someone with great influence. I doubt any would dare impede your passage with such an item in your possession. There is one other thing, Your Majesty. With the permit came information I found most intriguing. An oracle who once served in the Vermondian court now resides in Batal. This oracle foretold the coming of the Arisen and was banished from the kingdom when her prophecy displeased the Queen Regent. Indeed, twas by this same oracle's power that the agent in question came to know of your majesty's whereabouts. The oracle knows much of the Arisen. Should you make her acquaintance, she may be able to offer you aid during your infiltration.
A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for the morrow. Sven wants to meet with you. Says he'll be waiting in his quarters. I've just had a thought. The pain I experienced at the coronation was beyond imagining. How might the technique used to control us be dispelled? This ladder looks sturdy. enough to climb. Ah, oh, excellent find. Really now. Welcome. See, look at my words. Mike as well. I, as for me, I've been looking into my mother's movements since last we met, and I happen upon this. Tis a letter she discarded, only half written. It seems to be addressed to someone called Phasus. I passed an eye over it, though I failed to grasp its meaning, or, or what compelled her to throw it away. Here, I thought it best that you have it. Mayhap you could glean aught from it that I could not. And if you do, would you be so kind as to share it with me? That is only if you've the time to spare. I am in no position to make demands, of course.
Some of us get complacent. What was I supposed to do? I've clean forgot. Hands of peace. Rain the turn. I dare say I could forget all my troubles here. 